Teach a Man to Fish channel here. Here we go again, another cast iron cleaning. I think I have two more gems that are gonna end up going into the E-Tank. Let's find out what's under the gunk. Hope you enjoy the video. So here's the two pans. Again, the DAV. This one was $6.98. This one was $9.98. Uh, definitely older pans. This one does not have the made in the USA mark on it. Uh, it's got a, it's a number five. And I'm gonna do some more research on the marks on this. But I would say this is, again, it's definitely a pre-1960 uh, three notch lodge. And we'll get more information to see if we can get a tighter date on that. And here we have an unmarked, or at least I can't see a mark at this point. I was able to scrape off and see a number eight on the handle there. Uh, it's gated, which could make it late, or early 1900s or late 1800s. Um, we'll see if we can get more information about this one and its design. So let's go. Into the E-Tank it goes. All right, here we go. The big reveal. Yeah. Wow. You can really clean this time. That's the number eight gated. Take a look at this number five. I think that's what it was, the number five. It's looking just as clean. So these were in for three days. You can see what happens to that gunk in that three day period. Look at that. You cannot beat electrolysis tank. Oh, it's looking good too. All right, let's go inside and do some scraping, see what we come up with. Here we go. This is uh, not my most interesting one, but it's the one we're gonna do first. It's the Lodge, what I think is a Lodge three notch the reveal, the big reveal. Are we ready to see your picture ever? Look at this. Just flaking right off. I love that E-Tank. There's a bunch of different ways to do this. You can do it with lye, with the oven set on the cleaning setting. Get a little bit of staining there but that'll be fine once we do the seasoning. It's weird to think that this gunk could potentially be almost 100 years old. Here we are getting back to the bare metal when it came out of the factory. comes right off. Nice smooth surface, no pitting. What we can see here is the number five, raised letter B, Looks like a Roman numeral two, uh, and then the three notch. So what I get from this is it's a lodge three notch with the heat ring in the notches. Uh, the raised B from the conversations that I've seen and had on this, that indicates probably the 1930s. And that's about what we have. Do a ring test. One more time, hear that ring? No cracks, uh, which means it is a sound pan. You can also do a level test. Give me just, just a second, I'll go find a card and be right back so we can look at levels. 
do a quick warping test. Oh, there's a little bit of warping in this. So you use a card like this and look for any light shining between the pan and the card. And this has a little bit of warping right in this area, but without the card and during your cook, you would never notice it. And it certainly, when you let, when you place it on a flat surface, it doesn't dance. That wear ring is flat, so uh, you can't spin it like a ballerina. That's what they call that. So a little bit of warping in the middle, but it's going to be a good user for sure. And interesting history behind it. So nice find, five bucks. This is the one I'm more excited about. This most certainly is the older of the two pans. And this could be pushing uh, pre-1900, so late 1800s. It, some, sometime in the 1800s, this was probably cast. And that gunk's coming right off, of course. And this was actually the heavier gunked up pan. And you can see it's got a little bit of that alligator back going there. Oh, that's just part of the gate marking. Thought maybe there was an emblem showing up there. Looks good. Let's focus on the inside now. Smooth surface, for sure. And that's one of the things that I love about this old cast iron is this glass smooth surface. If you were to do this with a lodge, it would be like dragging a, a modern lodge. It would be like dragging it across a gravel road. Here's the two pans all cleaned up. I've got a coat of oil on them to stop the rusting. There's the gated. Uh, on this gated unmarked pan, you can see right there in the middle, there's a little bit of warping in through this area. Uh, doesn't bother me at all. Uh, you, I don't know if you can quite see. Yeah, there you go. You can see the, the gap that, that is going on um, when you do the card check on it. There's the, the gap. You can see the light coming underneath. So, Little bit of warping on this right there in the center, maybe where the pan get, got a little thicker through the, the casting there. Doesn't bother me at all, it'll cook fine. I like the, the history and the story behind this. It's flat, it's got a, a slight little bit of wobble this way. It'll cook fine, dead level on this side. Doesn't dance, so I like it. On the Lodge three notch, flat all the way around definitely doesn't dance and there might be a I mean not even worth mentioning but there might be a little bit of light coming through right there in that spot but I'm gonna call it a solid pan um, there you go so that's the raw steel, light coating of oil on it. It's ready to go into the seasoning process. We'll come back real quick and I'll, I'll show you these after a couple of coats of seasoning. Maybe even do a cook in it. Another quick tip for you, when you're oiling up, this is one of my older Wagner wares here. Use a coffee filter to spread your oil around doesn't leave that uh, those fibers from a paper towel or even a dish towel because a coffee filter doesn't break down here they are all finished up here's the number five these are gonna be awesome cookers nice smooth finish Old school, there you go, Lodge 3 Notch. And here's the really old one, number eight, 
unmarked, smooth surface, a couple of nicks, don't know if you can see those in there. There you go, there's a couple of nicks in there. And then that one little indentation or warping right there in the middle, I don't know if it's warping or, or not, there you can kind of see it right there. Uh, but they'll both be good cookers, good story behind them. I am very pleased with how they turned out. Thank you for watching Teach Man to Fish channel. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click like, subscribe, and share. Come on back for more.